Hello peeps, I'm 30 and welcome to episode 39, I think it is. To be honest, I have no idea. You're going to see in the title which video I'm on. Because I don't remember myself. She's my vassal. She does like me, but not enough for me to wait, want to get let her out. Okay, so how old am I? I'm 43 years old, I have four children. Uh, it doesn't matter because we're going to get primogenitor very soon. Meaning that we can have an easier inheritance. Great. What should we do? Hopefully we'll get the Pax Romana thing happening today. You would hope, or think, or beg for. Okay, I gained this guy. He's a Catholic Hindu person. Catholicism is spreading all over the place. All of the Coptics are very plenty down here, which is interesting. Huh? That's bad. That's bad. H how? Are you having a laugh? How is that possible? Is there anyone with a claim on islands so I can take the entire thing for once? That's what I want. Not this guy. He's only implicit claim. It's not like I, I could invite anyone. Oh, he's in my jail. So this guy has a claim on... If I recruit him, I could press his claim against those people. Yeah. That seems good, right? So we can take island with this guy's claim. He has claims for a lot of things, but that's not what I want. That's you. You have a lot of claims. You have one claim. Little one, little one. And that's the guy himself. It also means that we gain this thing. That seems very reasonable, actually. I'm losing basically all of the prestige that I have currently, but I'm making a lot of prestige, so it doesn't really matter. I feel like it's okay. How strong are they? 6k. I need a few more troops. Okay, so you're trying to kill this guy. He's married to my niece. Have fun. Yeah, he's the best commander I got available. Hopefully we catch the king. We didn't catch the king, but I gained fame. I don't need to. Who's Lucia? She's my spy master and my aunt, and she is probably dead soon. Which is something I need to keep in mind. Okay, so you do see her, one of my daughters. She can have someone educate her. Am I currently educating my aunt? No, I don't have to because she's married to me. She's already old enough to be married and have children. He's preggers. That's great. Hopefully a son. Hopefully a son. Okay, that wasn't enough to win stuff, but I think if we try and go and... Is that still the king in charge? Yeah, it's, it is the king in charge. And she became a friend. If I catch the king. If we catch the king, we could just try and win it that way. Yeah. Hopefully we do. He's a good commander though. So he might get away. He didn't. We caught him. No, we didn't catch him. We caught catched his son. That's okay. So this guy is now a king beneath me. I own all of Ireland. Which means I also gained this small thing down here, which is amazing. Which is amazing. How many vassals do we have now? We have 54. We gained a hook on that guy. But I don't have a need for it. That's beautiful. That is absolutely beautiful. We could force vassalize this guy. Try and get rid of that thing. Because that's ugly. 
it surely is. Very ugly indeed. Okay. I'm just checking if I have everything that I need to own for me to basically have the event fire off like Pax Romana. It doesn't seem like it. It doesn't seem like it. That's the wrong one. I want to take more of India. That's what I want to do. So I want to just go down here and take every single thing that I can put my hands on. The province of Caledonia. Apparently I hadn't gotten everything that I needed. Huh. The borders of Rome have now advanced well beyond the ancient ruins of both Hadrian's Wall and the Antony Wall that at last include all of Caledonia. This hard and unforgiving land is the home of a peculiar breed of people, Yet, but they will be turned into productive Roman citizens yet. Have they changed things? They might have changed things. It was a while ago since I last... Uh, like, I finished my Roman campaign on another build than this one. This guy claimed my throne. And my daughter now has given birth to a son. He's beautiful, genius, and hale. He's okay, I guess. If you know, if you know, you know. And if you know, that guy might not survive. If there's another one that's better. I think Patriarch is the thing I want to go for. Try and make my heir a bit better at, the, at her job. Just to make sure we keep the strength in our family well beyond the times of this emperor. Okay, someone got excommunicated. Not fun for that person. Hopefully I catch the dude and this just ends here. Yeah, we did. Thank you. That was very nice of you. I want to first give those away to no one of my dynasty, of course. Catholic. I just want to try and spread Italian Italianism across the the empire. That's why I'm doing this. That's the only reason. Otherwise, I wouldn't care. It's not, it's not that important, otherwise. But I'm still doing this. And I want to grant all of you to this guy. Have fun. Have some fun. <coughs> Pardon. Okay, what else can we try and take? Hey! I, I'm wondering, because we got the, that event about Caledonia. This is the reason. This is the bloody reason why. This is the only reason why I can't... Why I haven't gotten Pax Romana yet. Because this guy owns this one county. And I had completely forgotten about it. That's just... That's just a waste of time. Bloody hell. That's just... That's annoying. That's so bloody... Bloody annoying. Because I, I guess I am known for dedication to the fate though. That's something. But I do know that we have a couple of t extremely terrible commanders. I need better ones. Because the ones I have available right now is not the best. That's a lot of camels. Because I could try and revoke your your things, Georgia. Georgia, sweet Georgia. I can't revoke the kingdom. I could try and revoke one of your counties. I can't revoke the other one, apparently. Even though I have a... Didn't I get a claim on it? Yeah, I do. I have a claim on both things. I don't have a claim on the kingdom, though. Which is sad. Someone's trying to kill my nephew. Please leave him alone, if you wouldn't mind. Shifting interest. Fickle. Wrathful. Forgiving. 
It's a virtue being forgiven. Turn the other cheek just like Jesus. Seems like a reasonable enough thing to just tell a young girl to do, you would think. Right. Okay, one that seat you do nothing. It could be worth it trying to kill those people. Potentially. Or otherwise you just have to siege those things down. And I'm doing all of this with one county in Jerusalem. Which I think I'm just going to grant to the king of Jerusalem when I have done this. <coughs> Pardon. Pardon. Thankfully those, those places are easy to take. That's something at least. That is something. Okay. What I potentially want to do, I want to go there and kill his armies. Because otherwise I feel like we won't be able to win this war easily. Or it will take a long time and I need to siege down everything that it, they own. The queen? Because this guy... Oh, finally! Finally! Succession! Yes, I know. I want primogenitor. I want Primo Janitor. Please. Thank you. Upon succession, all of the late rulers' titles will be given to the player's heir, which is their oldest el eligible child. The younger children will receive nothing. Yeah, those other people will not be happy, but this makes sense. So she's the person first in the line of succession. So first her, and then Commodus, her son. He's a sickly child. That's great. Okay. So we're stitching this down. They're stitching my thing down. They're going for Janbu. Fun for them. Someone is trying to kill my sister. Right, I need to focus. I need to focus on the learning thing. What are we focusing on? Renaissance thought. Is that the right one? Yeah, that's the. Yeah, and this is, the... and then I'm actually going for this one. Which one do I prefer? Bombard probably. So that's eleven years. This is happening in thirteen years. Then we have better siege equipment, which will probably make this even quicker than it already is, which would be amazing. Mano gels are very good. I love them, but I would like to make it even quicker if possible. The Province of Hibernia. I think this is changed because we didn't ever own this and the Romans never had Hibernia. The island of Hibernia is the latest addition to the ever-expanding domains of the Roman Empire. This land of gently rolling hills and green fields was never conquered by the old empire, but it should, be, it should become a pleasant thief to govern if one does not mind the rain or the foul-smelling Norse settlers along the coast. Thank you. I am a Swede. I'm one of those foul smelling people <laughs> that's fun the right woman for the job yes she is but she's my wife they're going to win this siege now yeah they did i don't know what they're going to do but what i want to do is try and go and kill that army that's what i might where are the hostile armies and where are they trying to go I think I need to go and kill those guys. But it all depends on where they're actually going. So if we move here, I could try and raise my troops on this side of the... ...of the gulf. I lost my aunt and spy master. And friend, she was also my friend. You can be the new one. And I'm going to make you my friend. Because I apparently I can imprison this guy. I wouldn't try it. Try to do that. Where are the hostile armies? Because I can't see them. Okay, we should race you here. While going on a hunt. If you wouldn't mind racing a bit quicker. Because this is taking too long. There we go. Try and catch this guy. Do I have an organizer or something? No. At least not one good enough to use. Why are they gaining a thick and wall score? Yeah, because they they have the war target, that's why. Yeah, we should 
We should m destroy them. We should. It's because of the numbers and I have more, more men at arms. And a better commander. Why is everyone trying to kill my sister? Why are people always trying to kill my family? It's not very nice of them. And Sibylla. That wasn't doing anything. That was terrible. What I need to do is I need to siege. How good is this guy compared to his sister? Not very good. I'm sorry about this, Octavian. I don't need you. I don't need that guy. I don't need that child. I don't want that child. My family is huge. Yeah, it, it is huge. It just keeps on growing. So if I siege this down, then I try and go for the war target and siege this down. Hopefully this could be close enough for us to at least think about winning the war. And they actually went ashore here. I gained the perk. Rise of the Mongols, Genghis Khan has arrived. A new leader, Kagan Temujin, which is Genghis if you didn't know. Borjin was what his name. Has risen up among the scattered tribes of the steppes and declared himself the Genghis Khan, the ruler of the universe. With a vast tribal army, he has declared war for overlordship of the entire steppe and then the entire world. And he has this huge amount of special soldiers, which I don't know how good they are. Conquer the world, he is free to try. Hopefully he won't be too much of an issue for us. But that's him. The thing is, he has a lot of strong dudes in the way. They're not as strong as he is, but they have a... Like this guy, he's strong. He has 19k troops. He's got that... When I did my Byzantine campaign, the guys in between him and us were much weaker than they are now, so I think they're going to be able to kill off a sizable enough chunk of that army before he arrives to where we are. Yeah, we should be friends. We spent some nice time together. I, the fact that I'm doing all of this for one single bloody county is just, it's so unnecessary. My daughter and heir has given birth to a daughter, Ambrosia, fecund, beautiful, genius, and robust. Robust, genius, beautiful, and fecund. Hail, genius, beautiful. She's better than he is. What should I call her? Alessandra. Okay, we're close now. We own the war targets. And I think they're trying to go back and see shit down. Yeah, I think that's what they're trying. Yeah, that's what exactly what they're trying to do. If we yeah, if we race in the same place, we might be able to kill him. Or at least scare him off. And he became our friend. He's also a very old man. That's too bad. But apparently I will be able to catch this guy. He's not recently disembarked anymore, but he's very slow at going away. And he's arriving with more troops. And someone's trying to kill my, my nephew. Everyone in my family, someone has a kill order on them. Is for some reason. So you should belong to him. Yeah, you do. And I think that was the last thing that we needed. Of the Empire's old borders. I would think that to be the case at least. Because uh, I did think why we weren't getting the... Pax Romana thing happening in the game. But that was because of that single county here in Jerusalem. Which I had, compl I had completely forgot about it. To be honest. I completely forget, forgot about it to be the case. Well, now we have those things, I would like to focus more on the eastern parts. Not that close to Genghis, he can try and walk, like, conquer his way through, throughout those things, if he wants to. I can take him when he arrives to, like, Poland. Or Sapmi. Or whatever. When he arrives here, I might care about him. But I don't think he's going to go down to India the first thing he does. So if I just go in here and take India, I think that's okay. 
I would think that would be the case. I think I would think that would be okay. So if we just go in here and we take your kingdom potentially, would I like to do that? Or are there any better kingdoms I would like to take, like you, for example? That's a lot. That's great kingdom. That's such a great kingdom to take. I do wonder. That's close to Genghis, though. I am 47 years old. I'm feeling fine. I'm a flagellant, and I hate being a flagellant. If that wasn't the case, we would be able to live for much longer than we would, we are able to now. I would like to keep some of the strong guys alive, though, to meet Genghis act as like a buffer between me and him. And to make him lose more troops. We're still going to beat him, because I think we would be able to beat him easily. Just because we have the advantage in numbers, but I still want him to be as weak as possible before I have to fight him. We have a lot of holy orders, of course, as well, which we could call in to the war if we have to. I would like to kill those guys. And they're Polishian. At least he is Polishian. We could force vassalize him and just give him to Bulgaria. He's a duke. That's a shit ton of prestige there. And you're orthodox. Meaning I could actually go for a holy war because you are a heresy. So that's great. That was a big chunk of my prestige, but it doesn't matter. I'm just going... I don't think I can cross there. So we go this way instead. Let's try and make the, the things here looking more beautiful. She'll be trusting. She's just my daughter. She's not important. The province of Syria, Palestina, which is basically Jerusalem. The whole of the ancient province of Syria, Palestina has finally been liberated from the wild clutches of barbarians and restored to the Imperium Romanum. A great triumph will be held for the brave heroes who accomplished this feat. May their names echo in eternity. Long live the Empire. And you, dear soldiers of the Empire, go and kill this guy in modern day... Romania? I think it's Romania. I might be wrong. I think it's Romania, though. Please tell me if I'm wrong. Tell me the truth. I don't care. I have the money for it. I have a shit ton of money. Okay, we didn't catch him. Okay, we have some potential issues with factions. I think they're starting to dislike my offensive war things. Yes, they are. Am I currently trying to make a friend? No, I'm not. Okay, I'll make you my friend. He's the Indian guy. I think he's the Indian guy at least. I'm gonna try and befriend him. Make this friendship, make this high opinion thing more permanent. Potentially. And hopefully this will be enough to win against these Romanian people. You would think at least. It wasn't enough. That's sad. Then I can go and kill this guy. He has three trebuchets and that's apparently enough for him to be able to be quick at sieges. Interesting. Interesting indeed. The snake. Because that person insulted... Who? Yeah, I, I know. If I bribe you, would you convert? He would. Then I can focus on this guy now. Then I'm going to grant him to probably Bulgaria. Either Bulgaria or to Hungary. They're about equal in strength. I can give, I can give the Transylvanian Alps to Hungary and I can give Montenegro to, to uh, Bulgaria. How many children are you putting out, woman? We had three, but like after the age of 40. They're all good ones, but that's just, that's insane. Okay, so I want to grant this guy to you. Should make him like me a bit better. Like me a bit more, rather, not better. But it's got to make him like me better. 
Which it, it might be a correct thing to say. So we smashed the army of those guys. Which feels amazing. And we won this bar. That was easy. And I want to make sure this guy is orthodox. I want to make him my religion as well. My religion. And he will say yes. And then I'm going to grant him to Hungary. So I don't get the extra vassals, which I don't need. Because it costs me too much to be above my vassal limit. Meaning I don't want it. That's my one. You're the king. Here you go. Have fun. Look at the size of Bulgaria and look at the size of Hungary. Like some of my vassals are huge. And then we have England who is like looking like a Swiss cheese. Which is a bit fun as well. Um, I wish I never made the King of Galicia. It's so unnecessary for me to do that. As well as the King of Sardinia. But I, I, didn't, I don't think I didn't have a choice. It already... It's a duchy. It's, it's the duchy of Sardinia. Uh, yeah, it's granted to Brittany then. Hey, have fun. I lose one vassal that way. That's incredible. I don't want to have dukes beneath me at this at this like level of the campaign because they're too small. That's basically the only reason why they're too small. They're too tiny. Would I want to save the kingdom C B potentially on this guy? Because that, that's a big kingdom. I could take all of this in one go instead of taking that's a lot of things as well I could take all of this in one go why wouldn't I want to do this this is a big bloody kingdom yeah sure holy warring in India that's what I'm doing man there's a lot of huge kingdoms down here this is a big one as well I like it when the capital is close to the border as well, so I just have to go for a few days and then we are there. Let her have her contract. There's nothing I want to change about it either way. How strong was she? 10k. I think we can deal with 10k. No issue. And the Pope is active and... Yeah, she can leave. I don't care about her. And he became our friend. Great. Um, he lived the faction. Sicily, would you mind being my friend as well? No, you wouldn't. So that's great. I'm still not getting the Patrimona thing happening. I wonder why. Questions of punishment. I think I'd rather have Arbitrary than the other things. Raven is such a bad trait, as is Shy. Lazy. Which one would I prefer? Go for Arbitrary, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, I took her daughter, which is good. It's going to speed this up a bit. It's going to speed those things up. And someone's trying to kill my knees, Clarissant. Which is good. No, it's not good. Why, why did I say good? It's not good that they're trying to kill my knees. My cousin has given birth to a daughter outside of wedlock. That's not good. You're already fighting a war. You're actually fighting in a defending war for another kingdom. For in the kingdom thing as well. Um, you should be enough. That's great. There we go, finally. Imperial borders restored. The story of the Roman Empire's glorious recovery will be told throughout the ages. Those unfortunate enough to have lived through the black days when the barbarians sacked Rome at will or the Arabian invaders swept in from the desert would not have dared to dream of this day. All of the old promises have been reclaimed and the empire now stretches far, farther than it has in nearly a thousand years. Further than ever, actually. 
Church bells across Europe are ringing to celebrate this momentous occasion and men and women in both Rome and Constantinople are weeping tears of joy. For the sake of all humanity, the new Pax Romana must endure lest the world plunge into yet another dark age of ignorance and barbarity bereft of Rome's guiding light. Long live the Empire and long live Pax Romana. Finally guys, we are incredible. We are the greatest Roman Emperor to have ever lived. At least the greatest Roman Imperial family to have ever been in charge of the Empire. By far, the Arabonan people are incredible. The things we have done for the Empire. It's just, it's unimaginably, uh, unimaginably good. Are you serious? That's just... That is annoying. Where can I siege? Where can I siege stuff down? Where's there a castle? Where can I siege a castle? That's a castle. I'm gonna siege down the bloody castle. I need one extra percentage of war score. That's like... That's terrible. Why are you trying to kill my wife? Is it because she's making too many babies or something? I don't know. It might be. She has made too many babies. In all honesty. Confidant, flatterer. Go for this one. Try and keep the stress down. And if we have done this in three months, then we finally win this war for this kingdom. Yeah, people are really trying to kill my family today. And she didn't become my friend, but she got closer. Which is something. And the king of Tahut, if you wouldn't mind, I want to bribe you. No, that's the wrong one. I want to bribe you. And then he should probably say yes about those things. You would think. Come on. Don't lose this war before I'm done with mine, okay? A scheme. So I was trying to kill one culture of mine. If we won before this battle managed to end, I don't want the person to be caught by someone. And this war should have been invalidated. And it was. Incredible, I'm going to give all of this away and I'm going to grant it to this guy. But that's something I'm going to do between episodes. Because I'm going to take a break here, guys. We have finally achieved the Pax Romana. We have finally achieved, well, a foot down here in India. And we have also seen Genghis Khan arrive. And he's losing soldiers incredibly quick. How? How come he have already lost about 10k special troops? Are you serious, Genghis or Temujin? How? That is... That's hilarious. Yeah, his children is not as good as he is. As I said, I'm going to take a break here, so as if you have enjoyed this episode, make sure to like it down below and also make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content and leave a comment down below if there's something you want to talk about. So that's everything from me today, guys, so see you soon. Take care.